She and he do not always meet within the rounds. It is almost a miracle for them to be able to meet free and with memory. It often happens that they come to this world at different times. Or she must depart almost when he meets her. Or they have married another, as happened to Nietzsche. It is the parakia. The pain can lead to suicide or insanity. As with Hudelin, and the same happened to Nietzsche. Ariadna is Liebedisch. This kind of love is almost always linked to death, as with Tristan and Isolde, with Romeo and Juliet, in the ancient legends and sagas. Because it is not a love of this world, it is a love to the mystic death initiatic that fails with Juliet, it is the love of eternity and immortality, because there only exists one Hyperborean she for a Hyperborean he in all the universe and beyond them, and it is a spiritual crime and suicide to betray the eternal beloved. The archetypal myth is fulfilled most exactly with the death of the beloved, as in the divine comedy, hermetic symbolic poem composed with the keys of the initiatic school of the Fidel d'Amour to which Dante belonged. It seems she must go away, withdraw into incommensurable distance to better be able to guide the lover and presenting him with hard tests. And on leaving she has left him pregnant with eternity because she has opened his heart as with a dagger and been installed there. And he already will not have another companion other than her to the dark depths of the grave and in all the battle he fights she will fight in him and if he is loyal to her to the death only good fortune will accompany him the way of esoteric widowhood is hard and glorious it is marked by the chastity of knights of the grail.